Hi, sorry I can't be with you today. On the other hand, I'm glad I can be anywhere. Uh, I'm going to read from, you know what, uh, just a poem of mine called My Selma Mark VI Alto Saxophone. I don't recall if I played all the things you are or just sang the beginning and hummed and scattered the rest. I can't say that Rick, Doug, Audrey, Dr. Dick, Carlos, Dan, Chuck, Jim, and I, and whoever else might show up, had played songs when we jammed at the bungalow that Rick bought for $5,000 in Iowa City on Bowery Street between Gilbert and Lynn or in the downtown mini park before the new Godfather's Pizza boosted the economy, but took from us the park's ambience by removing the bushes we played among. Or at Carlos's pad, so small for our congas and bongos, the saxophone, guitars, both electrified and acoustic, the goodwill toy piano and kazoo, and we singing, chanting, shouting, stomping, fueled by weed, espressos, friendship, youth, and freedom. No, not whole songs did we play, even when Carlos and Jim, real musicians, kicked us off with one. But it was music, once we got up ahead of steam. We'll call it good enough for jazz, but whatever. They can't take that away from me. I confess I never played a song in its entirety. I played scales in the back of my father's store after hours, and in my first apartment at 81st Street and Columbus Avenue in Manhattan. Then I played the pawn shop tune, the cop heroin, and the parents jingle when I gave to mine the pawn tickets for their wedding silverware. I always held on to my saxophone tickets, and one day I was again practicing scales in my Prospect Park West Brooklyn basement apartment after graduating from the Phoenix House Drug Rehab Program, and then in a $40 a month room on West 20th Street before leaving New York, where my next door Basque neighbor tried to push my door in when he'd lost his job and came home drunk in the afternoon wanting to sleep it off. I practiced in the Iowa, in Iowa City in some of the 12 places I'd lived, the last of which was the home of Jacks and Shirley's, who'd invited me to stay until I could load all my possessions on a rider rental truck and move back to New York. I took music, music lessons from Jim Mulock until the day Jack said, Morty, are you ever going back to New York? Now for Marcella, I sometimes play my sax to salsa or jazz that's on the radio, or on a record, and I play the flute she brought me from Peru and the pan flute she bought me in Russia. I listen to a lot of radio programs, from alternative medicine to politics, personal and financial counseling, religion. One day, when all the words begin to sound like noise, I hit the Newark jazz station and took out my sax to join in. My musician, Marcella said. Well, enjoy yourselves, everybody. I'm sure you will. And someday, maybe not too long in the future, when I recuperate from <laughs> putting this book together, uh, I, I'd love to come back to Iowa City and visit with friends and everybody. Bye.